we have struck gold and have the luck of the Irish with us today. We are tasting and reviewing Kentucky Isle St. Patrick's limited release edition, whatever you want to call it. If I had some Irish music, I'd be playing it in the background. Let's go! Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I truly appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for all your support. I love this whiskey community. You are my online friends, for sure. Hey, yeah, I'll just say it, I'll put it out there. <laughs> if you can do me some favors, I'm asking for two favors now. I started asking with just one, and that was to subscribe. That is it, right? But now that is not all it. I also need you to click that like, that like option, or like button, yes. Subscribe and like. And if you already subscribe, then just like. You see, that is easy. So that will really help out the channel, really help me out. And uh, if you're feeling more generous than that, you can always comment, click the bell icon, and check out the Patreon in the description below. Yep. So like I said, we are checking out the St. Patrick's edition of Kentucky Owl. I don't think this is um, has any like Irish whiskey in it or anything like that. So I wanted to see what this was all about. I saw this on Flaviar at a good price. I think it was like a hundred bucks. Bought it, um, free shipping. So I only paid for the taxes. And then I started seeing them around everywhere. Every local store has it. I thought I was getting some special limited release, and I did. But it's not hard to find. My total wine then started carrying, my local liquor store then started carrying it, but this cost me a hundred bucks. Yeah, is it really worth a hundred bucks? We shall see. So this is the St. Patrick's edition, and this is Louise McGuane, sorry if I'm saying the name wrong, and John Rhea. So it's to celebrate the long-standing connection between American and Irish whiskey. Makers. And that is 50% alcohol volume, which makes it 100 proof. Now, what exactly is this, right? So it says that this St. This Patrick's edition brings together the traditional bonding skills of selecting rare whiskey barrels and unique flavor profiles with the expertise of their master blender, John Rhea, resulting in this exceptional limited release. So what does that mean? I'm assuming that they picked the barrels together for this limited release. Luis McGuane and John Rio. So yeah. Um, so basically, in other words, a fancy bottle and supposedly some barrels. We have broken the seal. Yep, let's taste this. Ooh, that was a good pop. So we are going to pour this. Let's go. Now, you do know that this is a neck pour because I just popped this bottle. How will that affect this tasting? I don't know. But other than that, I will kindly tell you that I've never tasted a Kentucky Owl before. Yeah? Haven't been wanting to spend the money. I know that the Kentucky Owls, the different batches, are like $300, at least in my area, $299 around there. And then people have been saying to stay away from confiscated because at $100, 
you really know nothing about that. And then we have the Wise Man Bourbon, which is about $60, but again, nobody really knows a lot about that. So until I actually taste one of these, I wasn't going to buy it. But I saw this one, thought it would be cool, and thought it would go with the whole St. Patrick's theme. So I, I made it. <laughs> now this isn't a rapid review, but it is a tasting and review. This might go over a little bit of the rapid review time. Because, you know, I think it deserves it. So we're going to swish it around, swish it around. Matt Porter just put out a video. It's hilarious. Talking about how, uh, or kind of poking fun at, to uh, sensitive uh, commenters, which said that he was shaking this too much. It was hilarious. If you haven't seen that, definitely go on ADHD Whiskey and see his review on Red Breast 21, because I had to see it like three or four times, and I was dying laughing. So uh, either way, we're going to switch this around, and then we're going to go in for a smell. So that proof definitely just hits you right off the bat. <laughs> My nostrils are kind of like flaring up because uh, I do feel like spices on here. Mm, the caramel and the vanilla is amazing. Very good smell. I'm getting a little bit of cherries, a little bit of chocolate. Like dark chocolate. Mmm. Butterscotch? Or like buttery, well, buttery bread, but also butterscotch. And a little bit of cherries. All definitely good notes, and I am truly intrigued to go taste this out. Cheers. So there is definitely spiciness. My mo my I wouldn't say my whole mouth because the taste went away real quick, but the back of my mouth, or the back of my uh yeah, the back of the mouth was spicy. Right off the bat, I got leathery notes, caramel, vanilla. I'm getting some cherry right now, a little bit of oak. Wow, this is tasty guys. I gotta say, I was not expecting this. Cheers. I'm getting like a citrus. Maybe like an orange zest. I'm loving that leather note. It's not like very big, but you definitely get it. It's like kind of like cherry candy, like some Jolly Rancher cherry candies and some cinnamon spice i think there's also a little bit of pepper spice in there but you're truly getting the cinnamon spice it's not as prominent like as a big red but it's definitely spiciness from cinnamon mm. last sip i could see myself Drinking, drinking this, not just for St. Patrick's Day, but year round. This is amazing. And okay, it's amazing because it totally blew my expectations, right? Now, realistically, right? I have a new rating system. We're gonna say one to five palm trees, yeah? I'm going with palm trees. Whiskey Corner, live in South Florida. There's palm trees in my logo, come on. One to five palm trees, right? I would say this is a three and a half palm trees, right? And the reason that I'm saying that is it's a cool looking bottle, one. It's Kentucky Owl, and Kentucky Owl, you see it everywhere in like, the glass case at every liquor store it's really exclusive um so it has the name it's good it's good it's really good it's a hundred proof but all the notes that it has is notes that i like i see myself drinking this 
more than one time and I'm actually happy that I bought this because now I'm even more intrigued to maybe spend that extra cash on the batches of Kentucky Owl. Not the rice, but actually the bourbon. I might actually splurge and go and get a Kentucky Owl batch, whatever, right? Because of this bottle, right? It did that for me. Now, why isn't it getting four, five, four and a half, five? I would say it's a hundred bucks, right? And again, I've never tasted Wiseman bourbon. I haven't tasted other Kentucky Owls, but at a hundred bucks, eh, it's a little pricey, right? Yes, it's a limited edition and all this and that. And if I wouldn't have opened it, maybe it would be worth some money at some point. But right now it's a limited edition that I'm gonna enjoy having. So that kind of weighs it down a little bit, right? So. Maybe I'll put it up to a 3.8 palm trees, right? Almost a four because it is actually pretty freaking good. Now, one last thing that doesn't get it to that four palm tree mark is the fact that the finish goes away pretty quickly, right? When you're drinking it, it's good, right? You have it in your mouth and it goes down very easy after you get over the 100 proof. Um, and the spiciness but a few seconds later I want to say maybe like 10 seconds later it's gone like I'm still feeling a little bit of the spiciness but hardly right as I'm sitting here talking to you I don't remember what it tasted like so we got to go again cheers so right now it's coating my mouth pretty good it's watery though right doesn't have that much viscosity and it's going and it's going and it's gone yeah so it doesn't have a long lasting effect or finish but that's not necessarily bad right do I like this yes would I buy another one at a hundred bucks? I think I would. And I would buy it just to keep it and maybe not open it. Or kind of baby this bottle to then not open the other one for a while, right? Um, would I buy this to kind of um, store it and keep it there? Yeah, I think I would. Eventually, this might be worth some money later on. Um, but right now, am I sad that I opened this and I'm not, and and I'm enjoying it? No, I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. This is gonna be a kind of regular drinker for me. Although I will kind of baby it and see if I can buy another bottle at almost the same price, right? Um, with that said, do I recommend that you will go and buy it? Yeah, if you find it at a good price, and I'm talking about, I wouldn't really pay more than like more than like $120 for it, quite honestly. And it's only because of the limited edition thing, maybe $130. I would keep it as close as possible to the MSRP, which is a hundred bucks. But with that said, I would definitely go out and buy it. I would definitely go and try it because it is a really, really good tasting whiskey. And I'm glad I waited until this point to open it with you guys and taste it out. Now, let me know what you guys think about it. Have you had it? I know the Bourbon Junkies just did a review on this and uh, they liked it as well. So let me know below, have you seen this? How much did you buy it for? And how much would, or how did you like it? How much did you pay for it also? <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Please do me the favor, subscribe and click that like button because it will definitely help me out. I'm going to pour myself a little bit more. I'm going to enjoy this and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.